Hello and welcome to the second part of this recording in the new Azure Architect demo series. So in the first part of this recording, I showed you how to deploy a PowerShell Desire State configuration to an Azure Virtual Machine using an HAM template. So in this second part, I will show you how to deploy a Virtual Machine Scale Set that uses PowerShell DSE for post deployment configuration and all of that will be done using an ham template so let's get into it this so the same instruction that we followed earlier will be the same instructions that i'll be following which will be to the um, module 3 of github so that'll be module 3 exercise 2 so if i pull up the page now and let's bring this up on screen here and that's module number three and what we'll continue is we'll continue with exercise number two here and my breakdown of that will be this one which will be exercise number two so let's go with task number one um, to start with so we're going to view the ham templates that we'll use for this deployment and if you're logged into your lab virtual machine that'll be located on you know, under this part here so that's mod 03 lab file starter vmss.json so let's go to open that so what i'll do so i'll go to um, if I go under this PC, you can go under mod 03, lab files, starter, and VMSS there. You can right click and open that with Visual Studio Code. And once that opens up, we can see what the template looks like. So if you wanted to, we could see um, an outline here. Oh, it not detected my um, extension. Okay, yeah, we can just ignore that. So, um, looking at this, you can see there are certain parameters. So finally, it's detected the, the outline. So you can see the parameters that we're calling. You can see we have um, a parameter for the instance count, a parameter to specify if we want to over provision or not, and a parameter for the configuration module URL. And then you can see we have variables, uh, which are using variable um, subgroups here. So which we have um, VMSs and different variables where we're using different ham template functions um, to generate um, different values. So scrolling down to the resources, uh, we're going to be deploying a public IP address that will be associated with the load balancer for the virtual machine scale set. Um, it will be dynamic. It's going to use all these different values that are generated from variables. Um, then we're going to deploy a virtual network, which is a virtual network that um, VMSS would use. We're going to deploy a virtual network with the address space that's specified and with the subnet. And the load balancer that's going to be in front of the virtual machines that will be in the scale set. Then scrolling down, you can see the load balancer rule specifies. Essentially what that does is to say, um, the backend part 22, which this is assuming that this is a Linux machine, but the backend part 22, um, this front end range will be associated with this backend part on the machines. And you can see we have a load balancing rule for part 80 uh, for the load balancer also. And then finally, we get to the virtual machines in a skill set or the virtual machine skill set resource. And here, depending on whatever value that we specify, and that's going to use count. And then um, here under the profile, this is where we define a desired state configuration um, extension that will be applied to these machines once they are deployed by uh, VMSS. So that's essentially what we'll be doing here. So let's get right into that. So if I go scroll down, if I do country half configuration let's go configuration url yep and you can see here the configuration the modules url so that's where on the extension profile of our virtual machine skill sets this is where we specify the powershell dsc extension that will be applied with the modules url that we made note of earlier and the configuration function that will be applying so that's the templates that we're going to be deploying so that's been done let's move on <coughs> excuse me let's move on to the next um task which will be to deploy a windows virtual machine skill set using the templates that we just reviewed and we're going to deploy it into a new resource group called mod 03 vmss with 
a minimum of two instance count and over provisioning allowed. So let's go to deploy the template now. So going back to my lab virtual machine, if I go to create a resource and then I search for templates deployment. And if I select my templates deployment service and I click on create, I build my own template in the editor and then I click on load file and I go to the location um, of the template that we just reviewed and then we'll browse to it and we open that. So that's going to load up that template and then we'll click on save. And that brings up this template um, for us. So for the resource group, we're going to create a new resource group and we'll call it the name that we have in the instruction, which is mode 03 VMSS. We're going to leave that in the East US region. For instance count, we change that to two. Over provisioning will set that to true. So I'll explain what over provisioning is a bit after the deployment has started. For the configuration module URL, that will be the URL of the blob where we uploaded our DSC configuration to earlier. So I'll copy that and I'll paste that there. And then I simply agree to the terms and conditions and click on, and click on um, purchase and the deployment is going to start. Now from experience it's probably going to take about 40 minutes to complete or the last time I did this it took about 40 minutes to complete. So just be aware of that that it may not be um, quick to complete. So when this is done what we should be able to do is we should be able to go to our virtual machine skill set and uh, once it's actually started deploying we should be able to go to our virtual machine skill set and we should be able to browse to the public ip address associated with the load balancer and that should give us the default IIS page um, that was implemented by dsc extension so let's go back to the diagram so this is what we're deploying now we have an external load balancer with the public IP. And as part of that, we also have a DSC extension. So let's copy this. And let's move this here. Let's get rid of this. Let's separate these out. So essentially, this is what we have or we are currently deploying so our skill set with DSC extension that will be applied to that and then the other thing is the DSC extension it's pointing to this URL here so that's essentially what we are currently um, setting up so again that will take a while to complete so what I'll do is um, let me see if it started. Yeah, so it started VMSS. And what I want you to see is that I did specify it two instances. But what I want to show you is that over provision. If I go under instances, you see that it's got more than two instances. <laughs> so the reason is because we set the over provision parameter to true. So with over provisioning turned on, so what the scale set actually does is it spins up more virtual machine than we asked for. And then it's going to delete the extra virtual machines once the requested number of virtual machines are successfully provisioned. So what this does is it, it, helps to, it helps to improve the provisioning success rate and reduce deployment time. Um, but also you may be thinking, well, um, it's good that it does all of this, but what's the cost implication? So the good thing about this is that you are not going to be billed for the extra virtual machines that do not count towards um, and, and the virtual machines that are deployed, they do not count towards our quota limit also. So there's no billing for that, but it's just to ensure that we have a high success rate in terms of deploying the virtual machine so that it's not going to be that it, it, it deploys only two and then one instance, then deploy correctly at the end. And then, you know, it's going to take longer to deploy a new one to replace that. But if it deploys four, ensures that at least two are stable, then it's going to get rid of two. So that's what will happen. But in the meantime, let's pause this recording. Let's come back once it's completed. So I'll see you um, in a few minutes time. And welcome back. So that took roughly about 39 minutes to complete. So the next thing that I'll do is we'll go to a virtual machine skill set. And you can see the skill set here. You can see the number of instances that we have. If I click on that and I go on the instances, you notice that it's gone down from four instances that it was deploying due to the other 
provisioning flag that we had set to true. Now we only have two instances that are actually running. And if I click on overview, I'll be able to see the public IP address for the load balancer that's associated with the virtual machine scale set. Um, if I copy that load balancer um, public IP address and I browse to it on HTTP and that IP address, you can see that I can get to the default IIS web page. And of course, this was installed by um, DSC, the DSC extension that we used and the DSC configuration that was applied to it. We could do something more complex, but this is just a simple demonstration of how to use DSC with virtual machine scale set. So um, that's that's really it. So we've already verified that that's working and all that's good. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to clean up our subscription. So if I go back to the um, instructions that we have here. So next thing is we clean out our instruction. Uh, we, we clean out our subscription and we do that by deleting the two resource groups that we created in this module. So these two resource groups. So um, in uh, the fashion of what we've been doing before, we're going to do that using the Azure CLI, uh, CLI shell.azure.com. And if it does not default to bash, I'll change that to bash, but it's defaulted to bash. And I'll go ahead and specify the commands to delete those resource groups and if I press um, AZ group list you can see that the resources are now currently uh, sorry the resource groups are now currently um, being deleted so that's really it for this particular um, second part of the recording thanks very much for and um, watching and I'll see you in the next recording bye for now